Welcome to Boogie's Water Sports. We're going to present to you a variety of riding rules, and your safety is our number one concern. If you do not adhere to our riding rules, you will lose your riding time and money. Every personal watercraft has a coil cord called a lanyard. Before you can start your boat, secure your lanyard to your safety vest strap. Then place the plastic clip around the spring-loaded kill switch as shown. If you fall off, the lanyard clip pulls away and the engine will stop. Once the lanyard clip is attached, press the green start button to start the engine. Do not pump the throttle lever before starting or you will flood the engine. To stop the engine without pulling the lanyard clip, press the red stop button. The throttle is located on the right handlebar. Pull in to accelerate, release to slow down. There is no rudder on a personal watercraft. You must apply power and steer in the direction you wish to go. The boat registration and fire extinguisher are located in the forward compartment on your personal watercraft. If you should fall off, do the following. First, right the boat from behind by turning in a clockwise direction. Or go to the side of the boat, reach over and pull the boat over, again in a clockwise direction. Always turn the boat in a clockwise direction or the engine may become flooded. Climb back on by grabbing the rear seat handles and pull yourself onto the rear of the wave runner one leg at a time. Stay low and move to a sitting position. Let us present the riding areas in no wig zones. Boogies is here at the foot of the Destin Bridge where the X is. If you look around the point you will find a double pull, no wake and idle speed sign. From this sign, straight across to the other shore is the southern boundary of the idle speed zone. As you leave boogies, you must proceed at a speed no greater than a fast walk until you pass these signs. Once past this boundary line, you may resume normal safe speed. Please stay 300 feet from the beach and jetties as snorkelers and swimmers are usually present. The east and west jetties contain sharp rocks and dangerous currents and are therefore off limits to wave runner operators. Serious injury and damage to wave runners has occurred in the vicinity of these jetties, and the Coast Guard has issued $500 reckless operation citations to boaters, so please stay away or you may lose your riding time and money. As you proceed down the beach in the Gulf, you must stay at least 700 feet from the shoreline. Stay in the darker green waters and you will be okay. Only groups of two or more wave runners are allowed to enter the gulf. How far is 300 feet? From Boogie's Water Sports to the east end of the bridge is approximately 300 feet. This is how far away you should stay from other boats and the shore of the Choctahatchee Bay. How far is 700 feet? From Boogie's Water Sports to the center of the bridge is approximately 700 feet. This is how far you should stay away from the shore in the Gulf of Mexico. Remember, your wave runner is not equipped with brakes, so leave plenty of room between your friends, family, and other boats in order to slow down without running into one another. Most accidents occur when people are only looking 20 to 30 feet in front of them, when in fact your scan needs to be 300 feet or more. Statistics show wave runner accidents happen the most between family and friends, so for your safety, you are required to stay 300 feet from everyone. If you choose to enter Choctahatchee Bay, please do so at idle speed through the marked channel's passageway. After passing under the bridge, turn right and follow the channel northward until you pass the last idle speed sign. Remember to stay at idle speed until you pass the last no wake sign. The following video footage shows what can happen to wave runner operators who do not operate their boats in a safe manner. The worst can happen. On the Colorado River, this thrill seeker, tracked on home video, didn't see the fast approaching power boat. He died soon after. Oh my God! It happened so quickly. Dave Frew of Pine Grove, Pennsylvania is luckier. He's learning to walk again. For months he was paralyzed after his brother accidentally hit him while jet skiing. They're suing the manufacturer over an accident that killed Natalie seven years ago. She had rented a Yamaha Wave Runner like this model and moments later slammed into a yacht anchored close to shore. Seems so senseless. So senseless. In order to get your Wave Runner off the floater, your attendant will have you turn your handlebars either right or left. Do not start the wave runner until instructed to do so. You will slowly be pushed off the floater into the water. While keeping your handlebars turned in the direction you were told, press the start button and slowly move in the direction you have been instructed to go. 
When returning back, your attendant will point you to a specific floater. Approach the floater in an idle speed and aim for the center. Once the nose of your wave runner is on the floater, you will be instructed to shift your weight to the rear and press the throttle until the wave runner is positioned properly back on the floater. Don't risk your life or the lives of others. Be responsible and be aware. Don't violate personal watercraft state laws. Number 1. Stay 700 feet off the shore while in the Gulf of Mexico and 300 feet away from other boats and the shore in the Choctahatchee Bay. Number 2. Observe and obey idle speed zones. A ticket costs a minimum of $100. Number 3. Always give larger boats the right of way. Number 4. Avoid congested areas. Number 5. Don't follow any vessel too closely or approach head-on. You will almost certainly have an accident, costing hundreds to thousands of dollars. Number 6. Don't operate a watercraft if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. It's against the law. Number 7. All drivers must have in their possession a picture ID with their birth date while driving the Wave Runner. Number 8. Drivers must be at least 16 years of age, and if you were born on or after January 1st, 1988, you must have a valid boater's license on you at all times. As you can see by this video, we care about your safety and the safety of others, so have a good time by being safe. Tips are greatly appreciated by all your attendants today, and if you have any questions before heading out, please feel free to ask any Boogies employee, and have a great ride.